Ah, oh, I love payday, don't you? In today's video, we're going to be doing a budget with me. On Wednesdays, every single fortnight, I get paid my regular income from my teaching job. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what that income is, what my money goes towards in terms of expenses, sinking funds, investments, and savings. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so first of all, for my teaching income, as you guys know, it doesn't really change pretty much ever. It stays the same. So 2,161 for my full-time job. In terms of YouTube, um, I'm deciding to put it into every second budget with me because with YouTube, you get paid monthly. And for the month of August, in terms of AdSense, I earned $171. As you can see, no, that's not a huge amount of money. However, it's a great start and I'm so thankful for everyone who has ever liked a video, commented, clicked on the ad because it all helps out and that's how we all start. And then by the end of the year, I'm really hoping to have doubled that income because I would love to try and turn this into my full-time job or even a part-time part-time job because I really, really do enjoy making videos. So if you do enjoy uh, and these types of videos and if you do enjoy watching me please make sure that you do give this video a huge thumbs up because it tells YouTube that other people should see this video as well. Okay my mortgage 503 uh, still stays the same this is all my half of everything Lewis pays the other half. Phone bill uh, is $15. TV subscription I pay for Stan with my family we kind of like everyone pays for something so my sister will pay for something, Lewis will pay for something, and then I pay for something. And I uh, I pay for Stan every single month. House bills is $50. And just back to that, it's such a great way to do it because if you want Netflix, Stan, let's say like Disney Plus or Apple TV or something like that, um, it's really fantastic if you can split it up amongst other family members because you can have more than just one person watching the subscription. So. That's my money saving advice to you. Spotify, $9. Twinkle, which is a teaching resource um, website, $5. And groceries is $200, which we just seem to be going through so much and so quickly these days. I have no idea why. Um, that just my, That is just my half for the fortnight. And that includes cat food, alcohol, groceries, all that kind of stuff. But it just all seems to be disappearing. Maybe because we're in lockdown and I don't know, like we just seem to be spending more money on food. I'm not sure. What about you? Are you the same? Leave me a comment down below. Are you spending more money on groceries or is your budget like you getting less or are you paying more? Maybe it's just me. Petrol. I seem to be going through the same amount of petrol, most likely because my car is in front of Lewis's. So we seem to just take my car uh, instead of his. So $50 for the fortnight. I've had some fair few comments from people saying, wow, like what car do you drive uh, that you only spend $50 a fortnight for? If you would like to know, I own a Mazda CX-5 and it is a diesel car. Splurge, because we're still in lockdown, is $150. That's for coffees, little brownies that we get from the cafe, takeaway, that kind of stuff. And VIT registration is a teaching fee that you have to pay every single year to the Victorian Institute of Teaching. I think that's what it stands for. Um, just to say that yes, you would still like to be a registered teacher and they perform police checks just to make sure that you haven't got any new criminal history or that you haven't been charged with anything. So you pay that by the end of September every single year. All right, let's jump over to sinking funds. So my first one is car maintenance and every fortnight I put pretty much the same amount in, but I just want you to see how quickly it can build up and that, you know, slow and steady really does work. Uh, you're not expected to put hundreds of dollars every single time in that small amounts do matter and they do add up. Okay. So 503 was the previous total. We're putting $42 into that account today, which will give us 635, whoops, 635, uh, 84 into car registration and insurance. I still haven't paid it yet. Even though I said in my last video that I was going to pay it. I have until October. I have until like the 1st of October to pay for both of these. I'm just trying to build it up as much as I can before it all gets wiped. <laughs> um, so that is $84 I'm contributing into there. 
which will bring it to 2054. It's gonna make me so sad to pay like $1,900 for both of these things and then it's gonna be gone, but oh well. Uh, Christmas, 302, we're putting in 20 bucks, which will bring it to 322. Birthdays, putting in 25, which will bring it up to 1408. Uh, clothes, again, this is something that I can pay or like use this money for whatever I want. It's discretionary, it can be shoes, new pajamas, I don't know, new hair straightener, whatever I want. Um, and we're putting in $20 for that today, which will bring it up to 386. And I'm sure that you can tell by this particular sinking fund that I don't really spend much money on clothes like ever. And if I do, it's once or twice a year, if that, I just, I don't, I just don't like buying clothes. I find it so frustrating because a lot of the time they don't fit. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like that, but it's always like that with me. It's so frustrating. Uh, house insurance, we're putting in $20, which will bring it to 527. Council rates, which I need to pay as well at some stage. We're adding 25, which will bring it to 731. 31. Health insurance, I'm basically taking health insurance out now, purely for tax pur purposes when I get to the age of 31 because for every year after that, you have to pay like a fee or a surcharge or some sort of thing. And I don't want to do that. I might as well just pay for health insurance. Um, so we're at $100 for that now. And health insurance is just ridiculously expensive. It's around $1,300 for just me. And I don't have any like pre-existing medical conditions. Anyway, we're very lucky in Australia with our uh, healthcare that a lot of it is free, but for tax purposes, sometimes you do need to pay a bit more. Okay, for investments. Now, this is really important for you guys to note that every time you do click on a YouTube ad, I do obviously earn minimal, minimal amount of money from that. And for every dollar that I earn from YouTube, whether that be from AdSense, collaboration, sponsorships, whatever, um, that is going straight into investments. Because I still have my full-time job, I actually don't need to keep that money to like spend it or whatever. Like I can still live off my full-time income. So all of that goes straight into Self Wealth, which is the investment platform that I use. Plus, I'm also adding $300 from my own teaching income into that account, which will bring me to 471. For every $1,000, so once this accumulates up to $1,000, I'll then go and buy, uh, you know, an ETF or a lick or something like that on Self Wealth, just because. If I was to do this for like every $500, then you have to pay more in brokerage fee. So it's always really good to try and accumulate as much money as you can in these kinds of investment platforms because they do charge you brokerage before you go and purchase your investments. Uh, Spaceship, I think I contributed around 20 bucks, not too much. Um, yeah, and this cash total here is actually what I have to spend just going back to self wealth, sorry. This is what I actually have to spend on any sort of investment that I want. So in an upcoming video where I show you how I actually invest with self wealth, this is the money that I'll actually be investing with. So I'll buy 15, sorry, excuse me, $1,500 of, I don't know, VAS or AFI, something like that. Emergency fund, I'm super proud of myself that I have filled it in and I haven't touched it. Uh, I managed to save up seven and a half thousand dollars in the space of like nine or eight months just after I finished paying off my car. So this is something that I'm very, very proud of. And now I don't have to try and now I'm never going to touch it unless it's an actual emergency. I know that I have that cushion and it just it releases so much financial stress from my brain, which I'm so happy about. Uh, next is savings. So I started off with eight hundred ninety six. Now I'm adding in, what did I add in? 500, I think I just added in 500, which will bring it up to 1,000, uh, 500. Sorry, I'm just gonna really quickly do the maths because I don't actually think I did, but I did. 1,390, I had a different total. $1,396. And again, that's not saving up for anything in particular, like saving up for anything in particular. 
you know, if the Australian borders open up and we can go to South Australia or WA, that's what I'll use that money for to travel. And if the international borders open up to go to New Zealand, that's also what I'll use this money for. Anyway, guys, I hope that you did enjoy today's video. Please again, make sure that you do give this video a huge thumbs up because it will actually send this video out to other people on YouTube and they can enjoy me talking to myself and my own kind of humor. So um, yeah, please make sure that you do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you did enjoy it as well. And I'll see you in a video sometime in the very near future. Bye guys. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready?